Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Terry Cummings, KC7VJD. And uh, he says in a uh, recent video concerning installing a dipole, you commented to make sure that the ends of the dipole are kept high enough to avoid the antenna being brought down by deer. Well, um, actually high enough so that people uh, don't run into them. Uh, I have had a problem with an antenna that was brought down by a deer. He's wanting to erect a DX commander. And as you know, guy ropes are used to hold the mast up. Yes, you have to. It doesn't hold itself up. Now, we have several large mule deer bucks coming through our property. Yeah, we do too. And I'm sure that our large racks would do a very efficient job tearing down those guy ropes. Okay, do you have suggestions? I guess the answer is, do you have trees? Uh, there are two ways I'm going to suggest here. Okay, let's suppose that this is your antenna. Now, DX Commander sits on the ground, and it's got all kinds of radials out. I lost count of how many radials we did when we built our DX Commander. And the thing is plastic and wobbles. And there is a specific place they want you to put the guy wires. Uh, I would say look in the instructions for that. Now, I have some trees they're pinion pines, pinion pines, and spelled a variety of ways, uh, P-I-N-I-O-N, P-I-N-Y-A, it's with a tilde, O-N. This is actually the Spanish word for it, which is where the word comes from. Now, these aren't very tall. They're 25 to 35 feet tall. They're scrubby, hard little things. Uh, they have a trunk, uh, and I've trimmed all the branches off below about six or eight feet so I can walk under them without getting snagged. Okay, now if you attach the guy rope um, here at about the eight foot point, the tree sways very little at this point. It does all its swaying up here at the top, okay? Hardly sways at all down here. This is just solid wood. Go from there to your guy point. And this is what we did with our, um, with our DX Commander to the trees, okay? And then that way, people, deer, passers-by, pinion nut collectors, whatever, can walk under the thing without getting garroted by it, which you don't really want. Here is an idea that would work. Okay, you got your antenna. All right, you've got wire, or not wire, guy ropes coming down to a stake in the ground. Okay, you can buy these stakes at Home Depot, Lowe's. You can get them two foot, three foot, four foot. Um, if this is going to be a permanent installation, I'd go with the three foot pound two feet into the ground, leave a foot above, and that thing is not going to move. Okay, there you go. But put a little fence from here over to whatever height you want this to be, six feet, seven feet. Six feet fence is about normal. Put a piece of fence right there so that people have to walk around the fence. Okay and make the fence such it doesn't, you know, you can do like every other slat, or you can just do slats on the top and chicken wire down here, something like that, but um, to make it inexpensive, but you have to uh, put these in so they don't come down. 
what this will do is force people to walk around the tripping hazard. That's the important thing. Get people to walk around the tripping hazard uh, or garroting hazard. Garroting, 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 garrot, 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 garrot. I don't know what that is. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, okay, so this is a way that you can keep your kids, your pets, your deer, uh, and uh, everything. Now, one problem you'd have is if there's a horseback rider coming through, and I think you're just going to have to put a sign up because then, you know, you get, it gets kind of ridiculous. Um, but anyway, if you have even taller trees, you can take, you know, the tree is over here. It's very tall, 100 foot tall tree. Well, at the 20 foot point, it's not going to bend very much. You can go direct like that. If you want, you can make this part a bungee cord. Now, the, that'll hold it tight. Uh, fix it so it's not too tight. And then as the tree sways a little bit, the bungee can stretch and unstretch. You'll have to, like, slide a piece of PVC pipe over the bungee um, because you don't want the ultraviolet to destroy the bungee, which it will in short order. Another thing that will destroy that bungee is polluted air. So if you live in the big city, like Los Angeles, San Francisco, um, in New York or New Jersey or something like that, in the big city, the smog will rot the rubber on that. You'll have to replace it every so often. Um, so there are some ideas for you on how to guy that thing and keep it safe from uh, walkers, pets, everything like that, who won't hurt that. And a deer is very unlike, the deer are really good. They, they, you, you see the size of their eyes, they're huge. Very good at low light. While they may not see a black cord, which is the problem I had, they will see this contraption. Okay, and not run into it end on. Okay, so there you have it. All right. I uh, hope some of those ideas work for you. And then um, I would also ask that if any of you out there would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. Also be sure, sure to check the status of the latest giveaway, and we do a monthly giveaway, uh, at uh, dcastler.com slash giveaway. It's got the rules there. It truly is a giveaway. Um, no money unless you live abroad. If you live abroad, uh, you'll need to pay the postage on whatever the giveaway is because um, even in Canada, the postage rates are crazy. Okay, I usually ship... Um, priority mail. I've paid as much as $27 for a giveaway. But it's a giveaway. It's not a I charge you something. I don't charge you something. I use channel funds to do it. This is to be something where I can give back to uh, all those who've helped the channel, all those who enjoy the channel. Okay? So that's the giveaway. Please subscribe. Please click like. Please um, also comment. The comments are important because they show YouTube that the channel has a high level of engagement. And that uh, is part of their algorithm. Got to feed the algorithm. And until we next meet, 73.